Now, relax in Shavasan, arms and legs comfortably apart, palms turned upwards, relax your body, relax your mind. Mentally scan your body from the feet to the head and uh, allow the body to relax. Relax the legs, relax the arms, relax the back, relax the shoulders, the neck and the face. Also relax your mind, let go of the thoughts of the day, bring your awareness and attention to being in the class, being with yourself, relaxing and recharging the body, relaxing and recharging the mind. Free up the breath, feel the abdomen expanding and contracting as you breathe. Inhale, abdomen expanding. Exhale, abdomen contracting. Each time you inhale, imagine that you are inhaling lots of fresh energy, prana. When you exhale, feel yourself relax. Slow down the breath, make the breath longer and deeper. Slow, long, deep inhale. Slow, long, complete exhale, you relax. Relax. Mm, relax. Um, good now, feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch, exhale, release your arms, turning to one side, come and sit up. Let's begin the class with a prayer. Om chanting. Om. 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 
गजाननम भूतगनादि सेवितम कपित जंभू फलसार भक्षितम उमासुत शोक विनाश कारण नमा विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकज षडाननम कुंकुमरक्तवर्ण महामति दिव्य मयूर वाहनम रुद्र से सुनम सुरसैन्यनाथ गुहम सदाहम शरण प्रबध्ये या कुंदेन्दुतुषार हारधवला या शुभ्रवस्त्रवृदा या वीणा वरदंडमंडितक या श्वेतपद्मासना या ब्रह्माच्युद शंकर प्रभृदिबे देव सदा पूजिता सामा पाद सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाढ़्याप ओं नम शिवाय गुरवे सच्चिदनंदमूर्त निष्प्रपंचा शाताय श्रीदक्षिणमूर्त नम ओं सर्वंगलमंगल्ये शिव सर्वाधसाधि शरण्ये त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुदे नारायणी नमोस्तुदे ओ शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत ओम नमः शिवाय लेट्स बिगिन द क्लास विथ आवर ब्रीदिंग प्रैक्टिसेस सिट कंफर्टेबली बैक स्ट्रेट हैंड्स रेस्टिंग कंफर्टेबली ऑन योर नीज इन चिन मुद्रा प्रिपेयर फॉर कपाल भाति connect with your breathing long inhale mm exhale one more deep breath inhale mm exhale first round of kapalabhati deep breath inhale and begin hand 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 to and relax very good relax your body arms shoulders neck face relax your mind get ready to hold the breath inhale deeply hold the breath comfortably for 45 seconds if possible hold the breath gently do not hold the breath longer than you feel comfortable focus your mind repeat a mantra and slowly exhale relax very good relax the body relax your mind be aware of any build up of tension in the body allow the mind to wander but also 
be aware of the wandering mind. By scanning the body, by being conscious of the breath, the mind can remain more focused. Second round of Kapalabhati, deep breath inhale and begin. Hund, 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 and relax. Very good. Relax your body. Calm down your mind. Get ready now to hold the breath. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath comfortably for 45 seconds if possible. Focus your mind. Repeat a mantra. Forty five seconds slowly exhale. Relax. Relax the whole body, calm down the mind. Focus on your breathing. Long inhale. Mm, exhale. One final round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and Begin one, 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 Hun, 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 and relax. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Get ready to hold the breath. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath comfortably for 45 seconds if possible. Do not struggle, hold the breath only as long as you feel comfortable. Focus your mind, repeat a mantra.
slowly exhale relax very good take a moment stretch your legs if you like make yourself comfortable we continue with alternate nostril breathing anuloma viloma when you are ready sit back again comfortably recross your legs left hand in chin mudra right hand in vishnu mudra deep breath in hail slowly exhale now close the right nostril with the right thumb from the left nostril inhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 hold the breath close both the nostrils Thirteen, um, fourteen, um, fifteen, um, sixteen. Right, exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Right, inhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Hold the breath comfortably. Close the nostrils. Remember to relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax the neck, relax the face. left exhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 om um 5 om um 6 om um 7 om um 8 left inhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 hold the breath close the nostrils right exhale on um one om um two om um three om um four om um five om um six om um seven om um eight right inhale om um one om um two om um three om um four hold the breath close the nostrils relax your body relax your mind mm, keep the back straight left exhale om um one om um two om um three om um four om um five om um six om um seven om um eight left inhale om um one om um two om um three om um four hold the breath close the nostrils right exhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 om um 5 om um 6 om um 7 om um 8 right inhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 hold the breath close the nostrils as the mind wanders gently bring it back to the breath left exhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 om um 5 om um 6 om um 7 om um 8 left inhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 hold the breath close the nostrils try to keep the breath soft and silent hold the breath very gently in the lungs right exhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 om um 5 om um 6 om um 7 om um 8 right inhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 hold the breath close the nostrils left exhale om um 1 om um 2 Om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Left inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. Hold the breath comfortably. Close the nostrils. right exhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 om um 5 om um 6 om um 7 om um 8 right inhale om um 1 om um 2 om um 3 om um 4 hold the breath close the nostrils 
last breath retention. And left. Exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Drop the right hand, hands on your knees in chin mudra. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Um, now stretch your legs. Lie down. Relax in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Rest and relax. Now bring your feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, give yourself a nice long stretch and exhale, release your arms. Turning to one side, please come and stand up for Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation. Please come and stand on top of your mat, bring your feet together. First round of sun salutation on the right side, deep breath inhale and exhale one palms together, two inhale lift your arms up stretch look up and arch back, three exhale forward and down, four inhale the right leg back, five hold the breath body in a straight line. 6. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. 7. Inhale, head, shoulders and chest up. 8. Exhale, hips up, heels to the mat, inverted V. 9. Inhale, the right foot forward. 10. Exhale, the left leg. Deep breath, 11. Inhale, arms up and arch back. 12. Exhale, relax. On the left side, inhale, exhale one, palms together, two, inhale, arms up, arch back, three, exhale, forward and down, four, inhale, the left leg back, five, hold the breath, six, exhale, seven, inhale, eight, exhale, inverted V, 9. Inhale the left leg forward, 10. Exhale the right leg, long breath 11. Inhale, long exhale, second round on the right side. Inhale, exhale 1, 2. Inhale, 3. Exhale, 4. Inhale right leg back, 5. Retain the breath. 6. Exhale. 7. Inhale. 8. Exhale. Right leg forward. 9. Inhale. 10. Exhale. 
11 inhale deeply 12 exhale on the left side inhale exhale 1 2 inhale 3 exhale left leg back inhale hold the breath right leg back 6 exhale 7 inhale 8 exhale left leg forward 9 inhale 10 exhale 11 inhale up and arch back 12 exhale in addition to the Surya Namaskar being a warm-up increasing our heartbeat and improving the breathing capacity and also synchronizing the breath and the movement let Surya Namaskar also be meditative enjoy the connection with the body connection with the breath be aware of your movements and aware of the experience third round on the right side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale four inhale right five hold the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale deeply twelve exhale left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale four inhale left leg five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale left leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale twelve exhale fourth round on the right side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale four inhale right leg five hold the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale twelve exhale left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale left leg back inhale hold the breath right leg six exhale seven inhale eight exhale left leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale deeply long exhale focus only on the breath fifth round on the right side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale four inhale right five hold the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg inhale left leg exhale inhale deeply exhale left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale left leg back inhale hold the breath right exhale inhale exhale left leg forward inhale right leg exhale inhale long exhale long sixth and last round inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale four inhale right five hold the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg forward inhale left leg exhale deeply inhale long exhale 
Left side, inhale. Exhale, one, two, inhale. Three, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Hold the breath, right leg. Six, exhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, exhale. Left leg forward, nine, inhale. Ten, exhale. Long, inhale. Long, exhale. Very good. Six rounds of sun salutation. Please come and lie down, relax in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Palms turned upwards. Rest and relax. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Relax. 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 Now bring your legs together, let's do some leg raising exercises, arms by your side, deep breath inhale, bring the right leg up, stretch your right leg, mm, exhale the right leg down, good inhale the left leg up, exhale left leg down. Now inhale the right leg up, reach up with your hands, hold your right leg. As you exhale, bring the head and chest up. Continue to breathe deeply. Be aware of your breath also. Keep the right leg as straight as you can. You hold the leg in such a way that the knee is not bending. Keep the fingers loose. Arms and shoulders relaxed. Keep holding, keep breathing. Very good, inhale, head down, exhale, right leg down. Inhale the left leg up, hold the leg with both hands and as you exhale, bring the head and chest up. Keep breathing. Allow the practice to be meditative. You can focus on your experience as you feel with the body. At the same time, you can also allow your mind to rest on your breathing. This way you can have a more meditative practice. Very good. Inhale, head down, exhale, left leg down. Now one more time, inhale the right leg up. 
Now bend your right knee outwards and hold the right foot with both hands. And then as you exhale, bring your head and chest up. Bring your right big toe to touch your nose. The right big toe to touch the center of your forehead. Do what you can do comfortably. Continue to breathe with awareness. See if you can put the big toe on top of the head. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. If you are more flexible, then you can gently bring the right ankle behind the head. Once again, do what you can do comfortably. The more important thing is for you to be able to practice at your level for you to get the benefit. Now, slowly releasing the head, inhale, head down, lift the right leg up all the way up and then slowly exhale the right leg down. Very good. Let's do it on the left side, inhale the left leg up, bend your left knee outwards, hold your left foot with both hands and as you exhale, bring the head and chest up. Tap your nose with a big toe, tap the center of the forehead, tap the top of your head. Sometimes it is not even possible to bring the big toe to touch the nose, this is fine. Do what you can do, what your body allows you to do. Slowly with practice, the flexibility will improve for sure. You will be able to do more with the same practice. If you're really flexible, take your left leg now behind your head, the ankle behind the neck. Do what you can do according to your capacity, your ability for today, and enjoy the experience. Um, inhale. Put the head down, lift your left leg all the way up and exhale the left leg down. Keep your feet together. Let's do double leg raises. If you have a tender back, remember to slide your hands underneath your buttocks, underneath your thighs, palms facing down to support your lower back. If you're feeling strong with the back, then you can interlock your hands underneath your head. Remember to keep your elbows on the floor. Double leg raises. Now deep breath, inhale, both legs up. Mm, exhale, legs down. Two, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Three, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Four, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Five, inhale, up, exhale down, six, inhale up, exhale down, seven, inhale, exhale down, eight, inhale, exhale down, nine, inhale, exhale, ten, inhale, exhale down. Now, one last time, inhale, both legs up. Separate your legs wide apart. Release your hands and bring the hands in between the thighs. Pressing the legs outwards with your hands. Hold the posture, but don't hold the breath. Keep breathing, keep holding. Very good, slowly release your hands, bring the legs together and slowly as you exhale, bring the legs down to the floor.
Wonderful. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Palms turned upwards. Relax in Shavasana. Relax your body. Mm, relax your mind. Relax. Relax. Mm, relax. Mm. Now bring your feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch and exhale, release the arms. Turning to one side, come and sit up. Prepare for the asana practice. We begin with the headstand. Relax in the child's pose. Mentally prepare yourself. Visualize yourself in the headstand. And then when you're ready, come into the headstand. Measure out your arms, make a tripod. Keep the crown of your head on the floor. Lift your hips up. And now those of you who are more familiar with the practice, without bending the knees into the chest, see if you can bring the legs up, keeping the legs straight. Either one leg up at a time or both the legs up together. Those who are not that comfortable bringing the legs straight, you bend the knees into the chest and do it in the classical way, the eight steps. Now relax your body from the feet downwards once you're in the headstand. If you are attempting the headstand, try it a few times. Practice while the class is going on. The headstand should be attempted only if you have taken the Shivananda Beginners course and been taught the headstand in the eight steps. Otherwise, simply relax in the child's pose or you can watch the headstand while it is being practiced. Keep holding, be aware of the posture, the headstand, Shirshasana, also called the king of the postures. Um, good, now let's do some variations. Let us begin by bringing the soles of the feet together and spreading the knees wide apart. Hold this position, the heels are close to the groin. The knees are split wide apart. Now keeping the position, take the right leg out to the right side, stretch the right leg all the way to the right. Very good. Slowly fold the leg back in. Take the left leg out towards the left side. Stay here. Breathe here. Mm, gently fold the leg back in. Bring the legs all the way back up. Straighten the knees. Keeping the legs together very gently. Twist your body to the right. Slowly back to the center. 
Twist your body to the left side. Back to the center. If you feel tired, you must come down and relax in the child's pose. Now bend your right leg and place the right foot inside the left thigh. And if you are more familiar with the practice, your practice is senior, then you can put it in half lotus. Very good. Slowly bring the leg back up. Fold your left leg in half lotus on the right thigh or place it inside the right thigh. Hold and breathe. Um, slowly bring the leg back up. Now before we come down, bend both knees into the chest. Hold the half head stand. Breathing deeply. And then slowly bring both feet down. The knees on the floor, relax in the child's pose. So very good attempt at the headstand. Um, when you're ready, come and sit up and then turn over, lie back in Shavasan, arms and legs comfortably apart, rest and relax. Now let's continue with the shoulder stand, Sarvangasana, legs together, arms by your side, deep breath inhale, swing your legs up, hips up and support your back. Hold and breathe. Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. Sarva Ang Asana, an asana for all parts of the body. Also called the queen of the postures. Now, see if you want to lift your hips up a little higher. Bring your hands a little closer towards the shoulder blades. The chest is closer to the chin. Continue now to relax in the pose. Relax the body from the feet downwards all the way to the face. And simply focus on your breathing. If you like, you can close your eyes and take your attention even deeper inwards.
Breathe a couple of times, slowly and deeply. And now as you exhale, slowly lower your right leg down behind your head. Deep breath, inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down behind the head. Inhale the left leg up. Now, halasana, the plow, slowly exhale, bring both legs down behind your head. Keep supporting your back. Only if your feet touch the floor behind the head, should you unsupport the back. If your feet are not on the ground, then just keep your hands at the back for support. Once the feet are on the floor, you can release your hands and interlock your fingers. Keep breathing with uh, awareness. To check if you are comfortable, you should be able to breathe normally. You should be able to breathe freely. Then you are in a comfortable position to hold the posture for long periods of time. Um, support your back. Let's do Karna Pidasana. The knees to the ear pose. Slightly separate your legs and then bend your knees down by the side of your ears. Remember to keep your hands on your back. Dropping the knees down to the floor. The legs are slightly apart to accommodate the head. If you are more flexible, then you can point your toes back. If your knees are touching the floor, then you can take your hands around the back of your knees and cup your ears with your hands. Called Karna Pidhasana. Very good. Now release your hands, support your back. Straighten the legs and now to come out of Halasana, bring your arms down on the mat, use them as brakes and slowly vertebra by vertebra, very gently roll down onto the mat and relax in Shavasana, arms and legs apart, mm, relax. Um, bend your legs, keep your feet on the mat, knees are apart, heels and legs are apart, catch hold of your ankles. Let's practice Chakrasana, the wheel, first the half position, deep breath inhale, lift your hips up, arch your back, hold the posture, bringing the chest Closer to the chin, mm, breathing deeply. And slowly exhale, bring the hips down. Time for Chakrasana, the wheel. Change the position of your hands, bring them underneath your shoulders, fingers pointing in towards the shoulder blades. Now deep breath inhale, lift your hips up, chest up, shoulders up and head up. Do what you can do comfortably, even if you are not able to come up, even if you are able to raise yourself a little bit from the hips, that's also fine. Do what you can do. Breathe on five. Breathe on four, 
Breathe on three. Breathe on two. And slowly exhale, come down. Bend your knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Give your back a very gentle counter stretch. And then release the legs, release the arms. Relax in Shavasana, arms and legs apart. Um, Matsyasana, the fish, legs together. You can uh, practice the fish in the classical position or you can fold your legs into lotus, Padmasana. If the legs are straight, then slide your arms directly underneath your body. If you're holding the lotus position, you can either keep your hands under the body or you can catch hold of your toes. Now inhale, head and chest up, tilt your head back and keep the crown of your head on the floor behind you. Hold and breathe. The chest is expanded. The lungs are more free. Breathe slowly and deeply using the full capacity of the lungs. Another slow, deep couple of breaths. Um, very good, inhale, gently slide the head down and exhale, release the posture. Release your legs, relax in Shavasana, shake out your shoulders, turn your head from side to side a couple of times and then bring the head back to the center, rest and relax. Um, feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch, stretch your body and exhale, release your arms. Turning to one side, come and sit up. Take the length of the mat and then fold your right leg the right heel coming outside the right hip joint. Open the right knee out to the right side. Open the left leg out towards the left side. We're going to do a variation of the sitting forward bend. Now both arms up, inhale. Turn and face your left leg. Exhale, bend forward and bend down over your left leg. If you are unable to fold the right knee, the right leg outwards, then you can always keep your right foot inside the left thigh. Stay here, breathing here. Try to move the right side of the body forward so that the chest comes evenly over the left leg. Very good, inhale, switch your arms forward, lift your arms up and exhale, drop the arms down. Bring both legs forward and then 
Open the left leg out, the left heel outside the left hip joint. Right leg all the way to the right. Both arms up once more, inhale, turn and face your right leg. Exhale, bend forward and bend down. Be in the experience. Allow the mind to explore the body. Notice how you feel with the legs, with the hip joint, with the side of the back, with your arms and shoulders as you relax yourself forward and down. Whether you are feeling flexible or limited, we all have a experience. Be with that experience. Experience the experience. Good. Now inhale, switch your arms forward, lift your arms up and exhale, drop the arms down. Paschimottanasana, the sitting forward bend. Stretch both legs forward, keeping your feet together. Both arms up, inhale and slowly exhale, bend forward and bend down. All the practices in the yoga class are meant to be supportive of each other. They are all complementary. So every time you practice a combination of things, then your practice improves dramatically. Having done the work with the hips from the beginning of the session, you will find the sitting forward bend a little easier, a little more comfortable. You will find the body just that much more flexible. Check your breathing. As you inhale, feel your spine lengthen. As you exhale, notice that you are able to relax forward and down a little more. Um, good, inhale, stretch your arms forward, lift your arms up and exhale, drop the hands down behind you. Give yourself a gentle counter stretch, Purvottanasana, inhale, hips up, throw the head back, open the shoulders and chest, the inclined plane. See if you can lift your hips a little higher than your chin. And slowly exhale, come down. Now prepare for the pigeon, Kaputasana. Fold your left leg. This time the left foot coming from underneath the right thigh, next to the right hip joint. Stretch your left leg, sorry, right leg all the way back. Lie down on your left knee, left thigh. Stretch your arms all the way forward, forehead on the floor. Feel a wonderful, nice stretch. Now, in a completely different way, as you prepare for the pigeon. Um, hands next to the shoulders. Gently inhale, lift your head up, shoulders, chest up, arch your back. And then you can continue to walk your hands further back towards your hip joint. You can even come up on your fingertips. If you are feeling flexible, then you can bend your right leg and hold your right leg with your right hand, the right ankle. And you can also use your left hand. You can hold the right ankle with both hands. Pigeon, Kaputasana. And if you are really flexible with the shoulders as well, then you can rotate your shoulders and hold your right foot 
and get your head and foot to touch. Um, release your hands, place the hands down on the floor, on the mat, next to your left knee. Tuck your right toe in, stretch your left leg back and come into the inverted V. Gently press your heels down, open up the shoulder blades. And then folding your right knee, bring the right knee close to the left hand, right hand. Lie down on your right knee, right thigh, preparing for the pigeon on the opposite side. Stretch your arms forward. Breathe into the abdomen, breathe into the hips, breathe into the lower back. Um, hands next to the shoulders, gently lift your head and shoulders up, chest up, arch yourself back. If you like, you can walk your hands back towards your hips and also bend your back leg, hold your leg with the left hand and then eventually with both hands. Breathing deeply, breathing long. You can also rotate your shoulders. Bring your head and foot to touch each other. Um, very good. Release your hands. Bring them on the mat. Tuck your left toe in. Stretch your right leg back, come into the inverted V position once more. Prepare for Anjaneyasana, the half crescent moon. With the left leg, take a big step forward as you do in the Surya Namaskar. The right leg is stretching all the way back. Place your both hands on your left knee just for a moment very gently pressing the hips down. Now place the palms in prayer position in front of the chest and then keeping the palms together lift your arms up, point your chin up, eyes up and if you are ready to arch a little more please do that. Bending backwards, hold the position breathing deeply the body is moving down from the hips, also moving forward. At the same time, the upper back is bending backwards. Three different kinds of movements are happening. Slowly release your hands, come up, bring the hands down on the mat, come into the inverted V once more. And then bring the right leg forward between the two hands. The left knee on the ground, toes out. Place the hands on your front knee, very gently guiding your hips downwards. And now hands in prayer position. Gently lift your hands up. Point your chin up and the eyes up. And if you feel comfortable, you can gently start arching back. Breathing deeply, holding the pose. Mm, slowly release the hands. Stretch the right leg back and come into the child's pose. Shashankasana. Give you back a nice gentle counter stretch after the intense backward bends. Um, come and sit up. Ardha Machendrasana, the half spinal twist. Sit to the right side of your heels. Bring the left foot across the right knee, left hand on the floor, 
behind your back. Lift your right arm up, inhale, lean forward as you exhale, wrap your arm around the knee, hold on to the right ankle, turn and look over the left shoulder. If your shoulders and arms are flexible, then you can slide your right hand underneath your left knee and hold on to the hands behind your back, still continuing to look over the left shoulder. Breathe. Each time you inhale, feel the spine lengthen. Each time you exhale, you twist around a little more. Relax a little more. And slowly release, come forward. Change the side, sit back on your heels. Sit to the left side, bring the right foot across the left knee. Right hand on the floor behind your back. Left arm up, inhale, lean forward. Wrap your arm around the knee as you exhale. Hold on to the ankle. Turn and look over your right shoulder. Re remember to use your right hand to straighten up the back. And also very gently lever the right shoulder more to the right side. And if you're more flexible, you can always slide your left hand through the leg and hold on to the hands behind your back. And exhale, release. Come forward, pull your knees into the chest. Straighten up your back. And relax. Let's do the balancing pose. Let's try the crow, Kakasana. Bring your hands on the mat, shoulder width apart, make a square with your hands and feet. Keep your knees on your upper arms and then shift your weight forward until your feet come up. If you are still attempting the crow, try it a few times. The idea is to shift your weight forward rather than jump your feet up. Slowly put your feet down. Let's try another version of the crow. Still keeping your legs apart, maybe a little more. Slide your hands around your ankles. Keeping your hands pointing forward, fingers pointing forward. And then shift your weight this time backwards. Your thighs are on your upper arms. You see if you can lift your feet from the front. A wonderful variation of the crow, Kakasana, very strong balancing pose. Wonderful, slowly put your feet down and then come and stand up. Take the length of the mat, separate the legs nicely and wide apart. Turn the right toe towards the right side, separate the legs even more, then bend your right knee and then interlock your hands behind your back. We're doing a variation of the forward bend. Take a deep breath, inhale and then slowly as you exhale, bend forward and down, bring your forehead down towards your right foot and at the same time lift your both arms away from the back, up towards the ceiling, pulling the arms over the head, breathing deeply. Inhale, slowly come back up, take your time and relax. Right toe forward, left toe out, 
bend your left knee deep breath inhale slowly exhale bend forward and bend down trying to bring your head down to the floor pulling your arms over the head keep breathing strong breath strong posture wonderful inhale slowly pull yourself back up take your time and release your hands exhale left toe forward right toe out we do the triangle trikonasana left arm up inhale slowly bend sideways to the right exhale if you are more flexible then you can keep your right hand down on the floor by the side of your right heel the top arm is stretching to the side close to the ear remember to keep looking forward chin is away from the chest wonderful inhale slowly come back up exhale drop the arms down right toe forward left toe out towards the left side right arm up inhale bend sideways to the left exhale hold and breathe feel the wonderful stretch along the side of the body good inhale slowly come back up and exhale drop the arms down feet together it's time for final relaxation please come and lie down get ready for shavasana preparing for the final relaxation gently bring the right leg 1 inch off the floor tense the right leg and drop it bring the left leg 1 inch off the floor tense and drop bring both arms 1 inch off the floor make a fist stretch your fingers and drop gently lift your hips and buttocks up squeeze the buttocks and drop gently lift the chest off the floor and drop squeeze the shoulders in towards your ears and relax inhale tighten your face squeeze your face and release inhale open your eyes open your mouth stick your tongue out and exhale close the mouth close your eyes shake out your shoulders and gently turn your head from side to side a couple of times bring the head back to the center make some final adjustments so that you find a really comfortable resting position for yourself and you're able to relax deeply for the next 10 minutes or so completely surrender yourself to the floor allow the body and the mind to take rest enjoy the relaxation welcome the relaxation give yourself an auto suggestion relaxing each and every part of the body systematically relax the toes the feet and the ankles relax the shins and calf muscles relax the knees and the thighs relax the hips 
hip joints and buttocks. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Bring your attention to the back. Relax the lower back, middle and upper back. Relax the whole spine. Relax the fingers and palms. Forearms, elbows and upper arms. Feel a gentle soothing wave of relaxation spreading through the body. Relax the shoulders and shoulder blades. Relax the neck and the throat. Now relax the face, the chin, the jaws, the cheeks, the mouth, the nose, the eyes and the forehead. Take your awareness deep within the body. Send a gentle, silent command for all the internal organs to relax. Relax the abdominal organs. Relax the lungs, the heart and the brain. Finally, relax the mind. Slow down your thoughts, calm down your feelings. Let all your emotions slowly subside. Relax the mind. Feel a growing sense of stillness deep within. Welcome the stillness. Enjoy the stillness. Become the stillness. Rest and relax. Rest and relax. Mm, relax.
Breathing a little more deeply, slowly bring your awareness back to the present. Gently move your fingers and toes, hands and feet. Coming out of Shavasana, gently bring the legs together, stretch both arms behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch. Exhale, release your arms, turning to one side, please come and sit up. Let's finish the class with the final prayers. Om. 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 Trayam bagam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvaru kamivabandhanan mityur mukshe mamritat. Om Trayambagam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvaru Kamiva Bandhanan Vityur Mukshe Mamritad Om Trayambagam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvaru Kamiva Bandhanan Vityur Mukshe Mamritad Om Sarvesham Swastar Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantar Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschit Dukhabhag Bhavet Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishade Om Shanti 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 He Om Bolo Sadguru Maharaj Ki Jai Hari Om Tat Sat Wonderful to have you join the class. Thank you for practicing. Om Tat Sat